Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 14 on page 333. Given the points A, negative 2, 1, 3, and B, 4, negative 1, 3, determine the coordinates of the point on the x-axis that is equal distant from these two points. So step 1, write down a let statement. Let P, A, 0, 0 be the point. Now the reason why we know this is the point is because it says the point is on the x-axis. And if it's on the x-axis, then y and z must be 0. Now if you look at the second keyword uh, behind this, it says equal distance. Uh, if they're equal distant, that means the magnitude of AP equals to the magnitude of BP. So if you start with the left-hand side, AP means OP minus OA. And likewise, if you look at the right, BP means OP minus OB. So on the left-hand side, when you plug in these coordinates, that's going to be A, 0, 0, minus negative 2, 1, 3. And on the right, this is going to be a, 0, 0, minus 4, negative 1, 3. When you collect like terms on the left-hand side, you get A plus 2, negative 1, and negative 3. And likewise, on the right-hand side, this becomes A minus 4, 1, and negative 3. Because you're finding the magnitude, you have to take the square root of the sum of the squares. Likewise, the same thing on the right-hand side, you take the square root of the sum of the squares. Now your goal is to find A, and the opposite of taking the square root is to square both sides. Again, just be mindful when you square both sides, you may get additional answers that may not work. But for this example, everything's going to work. On the left-hand side, when you expand this, the perfect square becomes a squared plus 4a plus 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 3 squared is going to be 9. On the right-hand side, the perfect square a minus 4 equals the a squared minus 8a plus 16. Again, 1 squared is 1. Negative 3 squared is going to be 9. When you're collecting like terms, notice there's an a square on both sides. Also, 1 plus 9 is 10 from both sides, so you can cross them out. If you bring all the a's to the left and all the numbers to the right, 4a minus negative 8a is going to be 12a. 16 minus 4 is going to be 12. The opposite of multiplying by 12 is to divide by 12, so a equals to 1. Therefore, the point A0, 0, 0 equals to 1, 0, 0. I hope this makes sense.